Hi, Psych2Goers. Your personality defines who you are. It is a combination of your traits, emotions, beliefs, behaviors. While every person and their personality is completely unique and one of a kind, there have been some attempts to categorize different types of personality. Those types of categorization can help describe a person's strengths, weaknesses, or how others perceive them. If you'd like to find out which category your personality fits, take this quiz and find out. There is no right or wrong answer. Pick the letter that resonates with you the most and record each letter. Try to be sincere in your answers. Number one, what would you say is your biggest flaw? A, being very impatient. I just can't keep still and wait. B, procrastination. I always leave everything for the last moment. C, I'm a people pleaser and I sometimes forget about my own needs. Or D, being pessimistic. I always forget to look on the bright side. Number two, what would you say is your biggest strength? A, I'm rational. I'm not carried by emotions and I make decisions based on intellectual thinking. B, I'm easygoing. I always know everything will be fine. C, I'm organized. Everything has its own place and I plan ahead. Or D, I'm introspective. I like analyzing my own thoughts and finding solutions. Number three, what motivates you? A, money and success. I want it all. B, I can keep on going as long as I'm the center of attention. C, overcoming a challenge is what's driving me forward. Or D, stability and security. I just want to have my peace. Number four, how are you with other people? A, dominant. I like being the leader. B, friendly and charismatic. I know everyone likes me. C, controlling. I want it my way. Or D, shy. I get a little socially anxious, but I'm trying my best. Number five, which job would you like the most? A, I'd like to be a manager in a big company. B, party planner. I wanna have fun. C, being an artist. I just wanna create something new every day. Or D, I'd like to be a therapist and help people. Number six, what do you hate the most? A, long explanations or descriptions. Can you just get to the point? B, non-social people. I just think they're kind of boring. C, drama. Let me stay out of it, please. Or D, conflict. I don't really like arguing with anyone. Number seven, what type of friend are you? A, I work too much, so I don't have many friends. B, I lead conversations and enjoy making people laugh. C, I always give the best advice. Or D, I'm always here to be a shoulder to cry on. And number eight, what would you say other people think about you? A, that I'm too stubborn. B, that I'm arrogant. C, that I'm not very social, or D, that I'm too quiet. Now, count how many times you chose answer A, answer B, answer C, and answer D. Which answers appear the most? If A appears the most, you're a type A personality. If you're a type A personality, you set high standards for yourself and are extremely competitive. You love setting goals and you usually succeed in accomplishing them. You are ambitious and passionate about everything you do. You use your time wisely and you're always organized. When dealing with people, you're assertive, but dominant and highly competitive. This ambition can sometimes make you impatient and stubborn. If B appears the most, you're a type B personality. Being type B personality means you're a calming influence. You're relaxed, peaceful, grounded, patient, and easygoing. People like you because you're friendly and charismatic and everyone knows there's fun where you are. You like having lots of people around you and being the center of attention. You are easily bored with routine and seek excitement. Because of that, you're sometimes prone to procrastination. If C appears the most, you're a type C personality. If you're a type C, you're most likely a perfectionist, detail-oriented and organized. 
You follow the rules, and unlike type B, you need your well-known routine. You're very intelligent and analytical, and you use that intellect in various situations, whether it's problem solving at work or school, or giving advice to your friends. Sometimes you may be a people pleaser, and because you need everything to be perfect, you might spend your time worrying too much. And if D appears the most, you're a type D personality. Being a type D personality means you're very sensitive and emotional. Sometimes you might be a bit pessimistic and shy or even feel a bit lonely. But those who know you also know that you're very compassionate, trusting, observant, and sincere. You are very introspective and existential, and you're always there to help everyone who needs it. So which type of personality are you? Or maybe you're somewhere in between two categories. Do you feel like your results actually fit your personality? Let us know in the comments below. As we said before, this quiz is just for entertainment. It's impossible to accurately describe a unique person and put a label on them. Your real personality type is how you feel about yourself. Did this video provide some insight? If so, don't forget to leave a like and share with a friend. As usual, all references are in the description below. Until next time.